Hi everyone, so this is not a tutorial, it's not nothing really. <laughs> it's just showing you that I'm going to make a journal completely made from envelopes, okay? So, um, I'll just dig this one out. And it's not, like I say, it's not really a tutorial as such. I'm just going to show you how I am using these. So this is a big envelope. Um, the next video that you'll see of this, or then I might actually do this and then show you what I've made afterwards. I'm just using all these junk mail envelopes to, now obviously that's torn there, that will get sorted, that will be um, remedied. This will be a pocket window there. We've got windows on the other side, yes we do. It's a shame, Let's do that like that, so we've got a window there. Let's see how that, that may or may not work, we'll see. Then we've got half, not half envelope, envelope for flat. Again, that got tall there, but that will get fixed, so it shall. And then this one, I, that's all stuck back down, but I may open that up. So we will, how are we gonna do that? Let's see, because I wanna stagger these, all right. And that's there, that's there. So I'm gonna keep the height of this big envelope. Then I've got this little long skinny envelope, which folds in half. I'm gonna put that about there. And then we've got another one of these, which gives us opportunity to, um, you know, you can add things onto this part to create more, more room. And then what I'll do is, I think I am going to just mark that there and I will trim that maybe I won't actually maybe I'll fold that over make that pocket who knows right but that's what I'm gonna do and then you will see what I've done with this in a second hi everyone so I'm back with another journal this one is made completely out of uh, junk mail envelopes and um, I'm going to put a little video on well you'll see it before this actually because I'll put it on the beginning um, so yeah you've seen what I've used to make this <laughs> anyway I have completed it now <clears throat> um, it is a Christmas themed journal we will call it Christmas blessings because that is what is on the um, front cover flap thing um, it measures nine inches by four and three quarters not really sure how to work out the pages but you'll you'll see when i do the flip through because it's envelopes but i have put a little signature in here somewhere okay so we've just got a simple string closure for the journal comes off um this will be listed over on my coffee shop i will put a link to that below right so how many envelopes did I use? Seven, I believe. Um, I think it was seven, yeah. Right, so here we've got a little, um, that's like the flap of an envelope, and I've left that like that. I did actually do some um, gel printing or something on that ages ago. So I've left that as is because, you know, you could write on there and you, then you could still see, you know, the, the design. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's like gold and shimmery, and I thought that would be quite nice. Just making sure I'm in frame, because this is a lot, lot a lot taller than what I would normally do. This um, kits that I've used are from Artie Mays, Tracy Fox, Tsunami Rose, Tailor Made Journals, um, possibly other people, I can't remember now. Um, I did start this about four days ago, but then four or five days ago, but we've had a weekend and I've had a busy weekend. This is Artie Mays. This is from, I think this is from Pixie Dust, I think. Anyway, i done collaging on some of the envelopes. This is a uh, paper from Tracy Fox, which is called um, Christmas Scraps, I believe. I've got a tab here. This is from Artie Mays, and that word, that, well, Holy Jolly Christmas is from Pixie Dust. Inside the envelope, we've got an envelope. Um, this is from Artie Mays, and um, we've got paper in here couldn't get that out then. I just took a really sharp pain in my hand. <laughs> uh, just a little bit of coffee dyed paper to journal on inside the envelope. And that goes in like so. So you can see the little robin there. 
and then here what I did with this because I wanted well wanted to see that popping out there I popped that tag in like in reverse but that's it there and then this is Artie Mays as well then here we've got a little pocket and so that's Artie Mays and then here we've got a postcard again that is Artie Mays a flap of the an envelope as well little Christmas music tag there and here we've got tag and a journal card right this flips up I've got a tag in there I didn't put anything in there because it's going to cause too much bulk Mary and Bright this is Tsunami Rose and then here we've got a tag which I've done it that way another Christmas music tag and then this journal card from Artie Mays a top tuck here I'm just going to make sure you can see yeah top tuck here with another that says the holly and the ivy and I don't know where that's from here we've just got a couple of uh, journal card and a tag I've got the poinsettia there. This um, was a big long envelope that um, obviously I've turned that into a pocket up here. So that goes in there. And we've got obviously the pom pom trim there. And again, this is uh, Tracy Fox's paper, and I just collaged that on, just tore pieces up and just added it on. Love that paper. Pom pom trim, and then this flips out, and we've got a tag there. This is Tracy Fox. This is, I think that's a could be a freebie on my coffee shop. Um, and then we've got these pages to journal on. They're just completely blank, so that you can obviously write, keep notes, whatever. Then here. Got a side tuck. This is the center of that main envelope, and I've just got a little tuck in the back there with a tag. And I think that's one of mine. Again, I don't know if that's a freebie or it's from my old time Christmas kit. That is some Christmas music paper, and that just pops in there. Now I've made two of these, the other one is there, and that pops in there. Got a little booklet here a tag and oops I'm throwing it about now and so it, sorry if I'm quiet as well it's actually really late and everyone's in bed and I don't want to wake anyone another tag there again if that's not a freebie it's from my um, old time Christmas kit which you can find on my coffee shop and that little book that was in there. Uh, this paper is Artie Mays and that's already on there. So that flips out there as well. We've got a tag there. I think that's a freebie from my coffee shop. We've got a collection of tags there. That's Tracy Fox. So is this Artie Mays there. A little double postcard there. Magic of Christmas. Oh, right. How does this work? I think I need to put something on this so that I know that there's something in there. Don't I? Right. We've got a little tab there. We'll use this little tab. There's always something I forget. Um, glue's probably dried up because I've left the lid off. And we will just pop that there. Try and centre that a bit better. So we've got a journal card there that you can journal on. Sorry, my head just bashed into the my phone, which is filming. Right, and that goes there. Pocket here and a tag there. Then here we've got another one of these like envelopes you'll see in a minute. Oh, this is I've uh, got a journal card inside there as well. Which doesn't match that at all. Uh, just a journal card that flips up and 
because oh right, let me just show you that because the window's there i have put that envelope in it's just got the same paper as the other one just a bit of coffee dyed paper and that goes in like so so we can see the robin that flips down uh let it snow pom pom trim here have we got that there yes there we go and then here we've got a pocket Yeah, I don't, obviously I didn't do any form of tutorial on this. I just showed you at the beginning, like the envelopes. And obviously now you're seeing what I've done because I didn't know where I was going with it at all. So I may, may not. I've got a lot going on. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do a tutorial at, of that great length because it does take a long time to do tutorials Um uh, so, you know, craft with me is that easy peasy, but <clears throat> an actual tutorial is going to take me ages to do. And like I said, I just don't have the time right now. Uh, I think this is from one of Artie Maisie's papers. Here we've got another tag. All the envelopes have been coffee dyed as well. Two little cards there. And then we have this one here. Um, that's Tsunami Rose. We've got a journal card there, another journal, double journal card there as well. And then that says, Joy to the World. Um, there's nothing in there. I shall have to put something in there. Um, let me find, let me just find something so that I can, I'm not, not just putting this in. It's just so that I know that I need to add something. I'm going to stick that right out like so <laughs> so that I know a um, couple of little journal cards I think I just showed you that here we've got another vintage um, journal card and then another little journal card there and that envelope has been well it's been painted Jess or stenciled one of the two <laughs> or all three of them <laughs> And then here we've got a tag inside there and the pockets there. So that is the junk mail envelope journal. I'll, see, I'll just put that back like that so I know. Um, if you're interested in this, it will be in my coffee shop and you can see all the measurements and whatnot on there as well uh let's see if i can do a decent bowl <laughs> probably not nah probably not yeah messed that up anyway there we go that is it and um yeah if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye for now